details matter in the whole process procedure called 31 envelopes, 31 envelopes. And what you're going to need are 31 uh, envelopes. And in this case, they're uh, cool, they're easy. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to special order stamps. You don't want just the flag ones because they kind of look like spam. You want to get on eBay and then buy stamps that are, I picked Pixar because it's a cool stamp and it makes it seem like you're a real person with a real credit complaint that understands the Fair Credit Reporting Act. 90% of the battles already won when you have these things, a stamp. Now, email, web, telephone, those things do not help your credit report in raising your credit score. Let me repeat, email, web, internet, telephone, none of those things help. The only thing that helps is using the US mail or facsimile machines because that was grandfathered in to the 1970s law, Fair Credit Reporting Act. So when you're trying to raise your credit using, oh look, I have one of these forms available right here. P.O. Box 105-281. P.O. Box 105-281. You should be scared that I actually memorized P.O. Box 105-281. Atlanta, Georgia 30348. That's Experian Equifax TransUnion. That's the oligopoly. Now the deal that they hashed out with the, Fair, the Federal Trade Commission is this. They will provide you a credit report via Experian Equifax TransUnion if you use this printed out piece of paper. Yes, you're gonna have to write your social security number on there, but here's the counterintuitive thing. If a thief breaks into your car, steals everything, and then fences it, and then sells it, including your social security number, and let's say your laptop's got 30 million social security numbers. That's a misdemeanor if you sell it on the internet. But if you steal this piece of mail out of any US mailbox from the US mailbox from 94305 zip code to 30348, which is where it's going, Atlanta, that's a three year minimum prison term. That's just US law. It's a felony if you steal just one social security number that's on this form. People time and time again make this mistake. Oh, I don't wanna share my social security number. You should using that form.